Hi guys, I uh, had a special request and uh, from a friend of us in Ireland who is doing a lot of wall cladding specialist panels on, on uh, architecturally designed structures and wants to know how to manage different elevations. There's a, a range of ways to manage this but um, it depends on how the information comes to you. Let's, um, let's take a look at this. Uh, we have a, um, we're doing walls and we're going to do a track wall, enable underlay, and I'm going to open up the image file. Now there's uh, elevation drawing here. This one I'll do to start with. So um, the problem is when you get these things is that the, um, the elevations are a series of separate drawings generally. And so you have to bring all these different things to, together. So the first thing we want to look at is, uh, is well, okay, we've got one elevation and this has got some cladding on it so uh, and I'm not going to do the whole job but uh, just to show you the basic process of how I would tackle such a thing. Um, pick each elevation at a time and, and scale it and digitize it and then you end up with a series of elevations yourself. The first thing we'll do is scale the image we've got um, so we'll do this and OK and I'm going to measure the, not many dimensions on elevations, but here we go, 9.3. So we'll, we'll do this part. And OK. And there. And that distance is 9310 plus 800. 9310 plus 800. And enter. And that will scale this image. It's actually a PDF and it's a very high resolution. Now, um, on the subject of resolution, this is something that's useful for you to know. Um, if I get, get out of that now, I'm finished out of there. If you turn on your right hand menu and go to CAD defaults switches, you've got the opportunity here to change the default image resolution. And if your images are coming in a bit chunky, um, ch change them up to say 300. You can go even higher but it slows down even more so 300 is uh, usually most acceptable for the work we do and so if your def the default is 72 so if yours is all a bit chunky um, slide it up to 300 and hit OK and, um, and you'll get a better quality image just like I've got here. Okay, so um, we're going to track the outline here of this job. We've scaled it so now we're working at full size and I'm not going to be too particular because I just want to get it done to show you the process but um, we always try and be as careful as we can working our way around the opening uh, and right right click close square and bingo there's our first wall so that's the start of it and and you'd go on and do others but um, I've got to marry this up with the elevations of the front of this place so what we do is we do file save and then we go to delete this image because that's right now and I'm going to move this part of the roof no oh, sorry the wall from there way over there out of the way using the group move function then I'm going to track walls again and I'm going to bring in a different underlay and that'll be the front elevations these PDFs are very big so uh, it, it gives the appearance of slowing down a fair bit because it does and there are five or six meg these PDFs so there's an extraordinary amount of detail and a very high resolution but nonetheless so that's just parked over there just for now so now I've got to scale this thing because um, this part of this wall marries up with this corner here so I've got to make sure that the dimension from there to there is the same as, as that so what we do scale rotate current dimension is and it's really handy when they're good quality images eh? 
and to the top there that has to be the same as this one from middle button snap from there to there and, we'll, and careful we want to scale the whole model and the image no we just want to scale the image because this is already at the correct size so we're going to do image only scale and then I'll think about it for a minute and it's unfortunate that it's such a high res but that's just um, the job that we were sent so now if I get my group move function and grab the other elevation and drop it into there I'd be a bit more careful about it if I was you right there you go there we'll do it. how about that so now and and it's going to look a bit odd if I bang them right up against each other so it's probably better if I just move it out a little bit so that it's clear to everyone what I'm doing. Um, so, so, just, so it's very clear to everyone involved that there's actually a separate elevation. There we go. So now I've got the model component of the wall from the other elevation drawing blended, if you like, with the elevation drawings of the rest of it. So now I can come back in here and start digitizing and do the same thing all over again. And and really, that's all there is to it. And the complexity is just how many more bits of each elevation do you need to to do this? So um, I think that's about right. There's a bit of uh, window trim around there. So we'll go down. We're only interested in the panels at the moment. And back to this corner. Right click, close square, and there I've got two parts of this. And then I would go ahead and digitize all these other little bits of architectural feature using standing scene, which is all very sweet. So you just do more of them. You can move them all together, you can leave the image where they are if you want to, or you can go straight in and select a material and let's have a let's have some sort of material. So whatever, 410 mil saffron, whatever that is, whatever the colour is, and OK, and generate the panels. And tally the panels. And that's the way I would manage it. So hopefully this is going to be um, instructive to you. Uh, it's, look, it's just more of the same to do the rest of it. But uh, it's a matter of understanding that um, you're not constrained to one set of images you can bring other bits and pieces together by um, moving them away so and then if I wanted to sort of make this look more reasonable from a display point of view I could just do a group move around all of that and move it up here so that when I print my report and turn the underlay off it's going to look um, like they're all going to look sort of hanging together um, entirely up to you how you want to do it or you might just leave it where it is and uh, print the report with the background on it. So all options exist. Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, if there's any questions drop me a line at any time. Ray at applicad.com. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Hope this is instructive and useful and uh, maybe uh, like us. That'd be nice and uh, subscribe to our channel so you can get notification next time I uh, upload an image uh, or a, so a YouTube video. Um, have a great day, stay safe and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.